So out of specification or OS is one of the highly discussed topic and how come the interviewer is not going to ask question about OS during the interview. Hi, my name is Bhaskar Nabte. I am the founder of Pharma Growth Hub and the purpose of today's video is to give some kind of perspective on how to answer few of the very important questions when it comes to OS or out of specifications. Let us begin the discussion. So before we begin, let me zoom in a little so that you will be able to see the content clearly. So what is the first question for the discussion today? And here it is. So do we need to raise an OS? If OS result is observed during process validation at variable parameters. So as a part of process challenge, you may be deliberately changing the process parameters. There can be decrease or increase into the speed during the compression. There can be a decrease or increase in the blending time. And this variation can result into a unpredictable result. I mean the out of specification result. So as the parameters are deliberately changed and you are expected sometimes the result can be out of specification because you are in the process of defining the range for your process. And for that reason, the out of specification result need not to be investigated during the variation study. It need not to be. You can certainly investigate the lab error through the lab incident but OS is certainly not a necessity. The second question is do we need to raise an OS if OS result is observed during stability stress testing? Now as a part of stability study we conduct the stability stress testing for example pH, temperature, humidity and the photo light or photolytic stress testing. So during the stress testing, you are exposing the product under very harsh conditions and which may result into the specification failure, maybe for impurities, maybe for assay. As this is not going to be a actual storage condition for the drug substance or the product, such kind of a failure into the specification need not to be investigated through the out of specification procedure. Now this test study is going to help you out in understand the intrinsic stability of your API or the drug product. So based on this information, you can think of what kind of formulation you should have, what kind of container closure system you should have. So that is the intention of this stress testing. But this OS result need not to be investigated through OS procedure. The third question, do we need to raise an OS if OS result is observed during in-process testing while trying to achieve a manufacturing process in point, example pH or viscosity? See, you have a procedure which talks about unless and until pH reaches to certain level, you need to continue steering. Now, there is no such time period mentioned into the manufacturing uh, uh, process but the end point is what your pH and you will draw the sample after every minutes or maybe every 30 minutes and try to understand whether the pH has reached to the specification level it may it may not so you need to continue drawing the sample and testing the pH now, in case if you withdraw the sample and if the pH is found out of specification, that doesn't mean that you can rush to the department head and you know get the OS raised. The end point is not the time. The end point is determined by the, uh, the specific value of the pH or for the viscosity. And for that reason, you need not to raise the OS in such kind of situation. The question number four, do we need to raise an OS if OS result is observed for a previous release batch used as a reference sample in an OS investigation? 
So for example, you are investigating the out of specification for one of your product. And this product has been running for the years together. So you have multiple batches released earlier. Now as a part of the positive control strategy, you want to use that earlier released batch. So you will take the control sample for that batch which is meeting the specification and you will test that so called pass batch with the so called your current failed batch at the same time and if unfortunately the result of that reference batch or the positive control batch is found to be out of specification the parameter if you are studying let us say assay if the assay is found to be out of specification for reference batch then you need to investigate such a failure by OOS procedure that is the guidance so follow the OOS procedure and try to understand whether the OOS result is because of the lab error or it is because of not lab error but you need to investigate the root cause through out of specification procedure last but not the least do we need to raise an os uh, if os is already investigated and confirmed for same cause at earlier stability interval and next interval testing is continued for data generation so you have a stability uh, plan in the place and you withdraw the sample at let us say 12th month long term and unfortunately you found that this 12th month sample is not meeting the specification but you have a planned stability uh, study for 18th month and for 24th month also and you don't want to stop the stability because this information is going to support you help you out in further defining the product uh, composition and the processes so in spite of getting failure at 12th month you decided to continue the stability for 18th month sample also and for 24th month sample so what is going to happen at 18th month you are likely to get failed with the same parameter which was failed at 12th month so you have you have the information history in hand that this parameter was already out of spec for the 12th month time point and hence for all future time points maybe 18th month or 24th month if the same parameters result is out of spec you need not to investigate the failure by using out of specification procedure so there is no <clears throat> necessity to use the there is no necessity to use the out of specification uh, procedure so i hope you must have got a you know the questions to all very interesting uh, uh, you must have got the answers to all very interesting questions over here and in case if you want to receive such kind of very useful information please do join the pharma growth hub so how to join there is a link given in the description click onto the link and join pharma growth hub group thank you so much